Paul was encouraging Timothy to fulfill the high calling whereby he was called to fan the flame. How many are sitting here today called, anointed, appointed, gifted? You had hands laid on you, prophetic words spoken over your lives. The Spirit of the living God has spoken in our hearts, but yet we still sit in the pew a week after week uh, fully engaged, never fully engaged in what God has called us to. If you're sitting here today and you still have breath in your body, there's hope. God has called you to something. He did not call you to be a bystander. Somebody say amen, help me. He did not call you to be a spectator. He certainly didn't call you to be a fruit inspector. Oh, pastor, I'm just waiting on God. <laughs> Try to over-spiritualize things. You know how many times I've heard that lame excuse in my life? God's probably not, or you're, you're not waiting on God. God is probably waiting on you, honey. You know, m m many of you heard this analogy. There was a guy standing on a roof, and the floodwaters came. And the ladder came up from the fireman. Come on, no, 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 I'm, not, I'm waiting on God. Water starts rising up. Pretty soon a boat comes by. Hey, come on, jump in the boat. The water's good. No, no. I'm waiting on God. Oh, thou God. Speaking into your King James spiritual language. A couple hours later, a helicopter. The water's now up to here. Helicopter drops a, uh, the, the, the rope ladder. Hey, come on, man. You, you got to get No. I'm... Oh, I'm waiting on God. So finally the water overtakes him. He shows up in heaven. God, why didn't you save me? He said, well, I sent you a fire truck, I sent you a boat, and I sent you a helicopter, and you rejected it every time. Sometimes, church, we just try to over-spiritualize things. We need some deep revelation. Listen, you don't need deep revelation to understand this word. Go! Huh. Go ye. That's what the Bible says. That's what Jesus told us to do. Jesus said, if you see somebody hungry, don't pray about it. Don't begin to fast. Don't go to the Feeding the Hungry conference. <laughs> Feed the brother. You see somebody who's naked. You don't need to call Pastor Delise in the prayer team. If you have two coats, and I know most, most of you have way more than two. Mm. Give them a coat. Now listen, I'm not saying that there's not a time to fast and pray or to wait on God, but there's a balance. God has also given us a mind to think. Sometimes we need to use it. Don't over-spiritualize everything, church. Some things are just common sense. But how I many you know uh, common sense isn't so common anymore, amen? He's given us a sound mind. Use your sound mind. Some things are extremely obvious. We need to be careful that we don't become so heavenly minded that we become no earthly good. So fire up, fan the flame, and like Nike says, just do it. Here's another great Christian excuse. Oh, pastor, let me pray about it. Oh, y'all. I'm going to make this real practical for y'all right here, okay? You have your little spiritual hard hats? You might want to put them on, come around, we'll bop a few people right here. Watch this now. Do you fast and pray and wait on God to see if you need to take the trash out in your home? Well, come on, family, let's have a prayer meeting. Should we take the trash out, oh God? Do you fast and pray to wait on God to clean your toilets or mop the floors or run the sweeper? Oh God, should I clean my toilet this year or should I wait till next year? No, you don't do that. You see the need, you fire up, you fan the flame, and you do it. 
whether you feel like it or not, somebody. You don't have to seek the face of God before you make dinner each night. Mm. You may not feel like it. You might be tired. Might be tired. But your belly and your children huh, are telling you something different. So, like Paul tells Timothy, fire up, fan the flame, and do it. You don't need a major spiritual revelation. Hi, I'm Pastor Michael Eurisha, and I hope you enjoyed today's short word. If you liked and agreed with this message, please hit the share button and share it with everyone you know. Together, we could proclaim this gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Now, if you'd like to watch the message in its entirety, simply click on the link below. God bless you, my friend, and we hope to see you here next time as together we go beyond.